Hey guys, this is Joy Cho from Oh Joy. Welcome to the second episode of Dressing the Bum, where it's 16 weeks now, your belly is growing, and you've probably told everyone the good news. This week, I want to focus on maternity basics, which means jeans, pants, and some basic t-shirts you'll need to incorporate into your regular wardrobe. During pregnancy, I try and mix in only about 25% of maternity pieces. When it comes to maternity jeans, the fit of the leg is pretty similar to the way they are with regular jeans. You'll get boyfriend cuts, you'll get slim cuts, you'll get boot cut. If you have a favorite pair of denim already, that's one great place to start and see if they have a maternity line. One style to try is the low waistband that sits just below your belly. Usually this is best for the first half of pregnancy before you get too big. Another kind is the high waistband jean. Basically, this stretchy part goes over your belly and provides really nice support, especially as your belly is getting larger. For an option that looks the most like a regular pair of jeans, some have a stretchy waistband incorporated that combines the best of both worlds. One pair of maternity shorts can get you throughout the whole summer. They have a stretchy waistband and I like to go for something pretty neutral, like this pair which is black but has a pretty scalp detail at the hem. Another fun option that's non-maternity is to get a pair of pants with an elastic waistband. Then you have a lot of options with prints and colors and patterns, and that way you can wear them below your belly throughout your pregnancy. Regular tank tops and t-shirts and blouses will fit you for a little bit, but at some point they'll either be too small or they'll stretch out. So this is when you want to incorporate a couple of maternity tanks and tees into your regular wardrobe. And that way you can layer jackets or blazers or sweaters on top of them. Here's an example of a very basic maternity t-shirt. As you can see, it has ruching and stretchiness on the side. And while it may look a little bit funny when you see it just by itself on a hanger, it's actually super flattering when worn over a growing belly. All right guys, one more thing. While your belly is growing, there might be two other things that are growing as well, if you know what I mean. So I recommend trying these bra centers, which give you a little bit more bang for your buck with your current bra size. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of Dress in the Bump. Stay tuned next month for our 20 week episode. If you have any questions or requests for future episodes, please leave comments below. And please subscribe to the Ojoy YouTube channel.